Hey, welcome back to your favorite trigonometry class. We're going to look at uh, this unit on analytic geometry. Specifically, this is just an introduction to conics. Uh, a lot of vocabulary. We're just looking at knowing the names. So, uh, conic is just derived from the word cone. So, it's constructed in the following way. You have this axis. We're going to call axis A here. And then we have this generator, uh, line G here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this uh, line G, this uh, what we call a generator, uh, while maintaining the same angle. So if I rotate that around, right, if you can imagine it rotating around and then it's creating, it's creating our right circular cone. That's the collection of all those points swept out is this right circular cone. So again, the fixed lines are the axis. Uh, we've got our vertex here right in the middle. Um, we have our generators, right, that line A. And all those lines are called generators of the cone, OK? And then these are uh, the naps. Right? There's a nap right there. There's a nap right there. They intersect at the, at the vertex. So conics are simply abbreviation for conics sections. and uh, so when we take a plane and intersect it, we're going to create these conics or conic sections. So let's start out with circles. So circles are when you take a plane that is perpendicular to the axis of the cone and it intersects each generator. OK, so again, it's perpendicular to the axis. So you can see we've created the circle there, a perfect circle. Yeah. And ellipse is when we're going to tilt that plane slightly. Uh, but it intersects only one of the cones, so you notice you notice the ellipse in there. That's an ellipse shape. Uh, parabola. Yeah, so we're going to tilt this so that it's parallel to a generator and it intersects only one nap. So again, you see the ellipse right there. The uh, I'm sorry, the parabola right there. Okay. Hyperbola. So this is when the uh, plane intersects both naps. So we've got the hyperbola. We're going to see the shape of the hyperbola right there. All right. So <clears throat> conic sections, just to finish this out, are, are used in modeling. So parabolas, uh, we'll do some application problems, but you can can be used to describe searchlights, telescopes, ellipses, on the other hand, orbits of planets, whispering chambers, hyperbolas, lightning strikes, modeling nuclear, cooling towers. Okay, so these are all applications of, of conics, conic sections. So we'll get into uh, we'll get into parabolas in the next section. Thanks for listening. See you guys later.